Ortiz again. I'm so happy it's getting warm. I love this weather. Uh, we're going to start exploring uh, lesson 11, distance learning. And this is going to be 5 7. For Thursday, 5 7. 20, Mr. Ortiz, 404-955-6666. My email address, hassan at gsu.edu. I'll say it again, hassan, H-A-S-S-A-N, at gsu.edu. We're working from, as... You well know, vengeance number three, and try to purchase the book if you could. Uh, buy it used. It'll be much cheaper, but it'll be helpful during this time. IBS, ISBN number in the back of the book, 976-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-
and worried. Okay, so let me go to my phone here. Get the QR code. Here we go. Give me a second. It's taking a little time. Okay. Page 111, exercise 3A. Monica calls Samantha with bad news. While Monica and Todd were out, someone broke into their home and stole their TV, DVD player, jewelry, and some cash. Monica is upset because the robber took her mother's ring. She says the person got in through a window in the back bedroom. Samantha is worried. She says they never used to have so much crime in their neighborhood. She tells Monica that last week, someone robbed their neighbor, Mr. Purdy, too. Samantha thinks they should start a neighborhood watch program. Monica agrees, but first she needs to clean up the mess in her house. Samantha offers to come over and help. Okay. So let me play it again. Page 111. Exercise 3A. Monica calls Samantha with bad news. While Monica and Todd were out, someone broke into their home and stole their TV, DVD player, jewelry, and some cash. Monica is upset because the robber took her mother's ring. She says the person got in through a window in the back bedroom. Samantha is worried. She says they never used to have so much crime in their neighborhood. She tells Monica that last week, someone robbed their neighbor, Mr. Purdy, too. Samantha thinks they should start a neighborhood watch program. Monica agrees, but first, she needs to clean up the mess in her house. Samantha offers to come over and help. Okay. Okay, so that was the reading on page 111. 111. And let's talk about crime and let's talk about burglaries. Uh, I did some research. Uh, I found statistics that indicate that 430,000 or over 430,000 burglaries were committed in the United States. 400, over 430,000 burglaries. Burglary means somebody breaks into your home and steals something. Uh, what can we do to prevent someone from breaking into our homes. I have some points I want to discuss, and if you have some points that I miss, send them to me, okay? Number one, make your house look occupied. Make it look like there's someone in the house, even though there's no one in the house. When I leave my home in the evening, I usually keep a light on, okay? Uh, and if somebody's watching the house and they see a light on in the bedroom or in the kitchen, living room, wherever, staircase, uh, they may be apprehensive as far as breaking into your home. Lock all doors and windows when you leave your home and when you're sleeping. 2009, my father was on his deathbed and I was suffering and I was in my backyard uh, and a friend called me up and a friend wanted to know how I was doing. I said, well, I'm flying to California tomorrow to see my father before he dies. 
And my friend said, you haven't been eating or sleeping for the last two days. Go get some food. Put some food in your system. I said, you're right. So anyway, I walked out of the house. I left my patio door open in the back. When I got came home from, from lunch, when I was about to come into the house, I heard a bang. And I said, whoa, what happened here? And I ran into the home, and uh, someone was running out of the patio, uh, and they stole a whole bunch of computer games uh, and, and the PlayStation unit for uh, my son. So they were probably teenagers. But I made the mistake. I left my home for a short period of time, short period of time, uh, and they broke into my home. Leave a television or a radio on. Okay, I do that every now and then. Okay, leave a television or a radio on. This is important. Have a car, an extra car in your driveway. Uh, some of us are fortunate to have two cars. Leave one in the driveway all the time. If you got a garage, put one in the car, a garage, the good one, the old one, put it outside. That will give somebody the impression if they're passing by casing out homes uh, that there's somebody probably in the home. Get a surveillance camera if you could afford one. They're, they're relatively cheap today, okay? So get a surveillance camera. Security alarm systems, okay? A lot of companies are selling security alarm systems. Get a guard dog, okay? A lot of folks have a, a, a dog, uh, and not a little little dog, but a, a pretty big dog with a, with a bark, okay, to scare off intruders. And secure your front door, drop bolt, okay? Maybe two locks, whatever. So secure your home, your premise is extremely, extremely important. Any ideas of what else you could do, email me. I'd like to know. Okay, so... During these video lessons, I've been concentrating a lot on grammar, on grammar. So I'm going to go to page, okay, page 112, and we're looking at uh, past continuous uh, questions and answers, okay? So let me see if, if I could pull it up. Okay, on my phone, and then we'll start working. Give me a second, please. Let me see if I have it. No. Monica calls Samantha with bad news. While Monica and Todd were out, someone broke into their home and stole their TV, DVD player, jewelry, and some cash. Monica is upset because the robber took her mother's ring. She says the person got in through a window in the back bedroom. Samantha is worried. She says they never used to have so much. Okay, I'm trying to get it now. Bear with me, please.
Unit 9. Lesson B. Okay. Past continuous. Questions and answers. Watch and listen. Past continuous. Statements. Use the past continuous to talk about actions that were happening at a specific time in the past. The actions were not completed at that time. She was eating lunch at 12 o'clock. They were visiting friends yesterday afternoon. Past continuous, answering questions with what. To make past continuous statements, use this order. Subject, plus was, or were, plus the base form of the verb, plus ing. He was doing homework last night. They were playing a game after dinner. He was cutting the grass yesterday afternoon. They were watching TV at 6 o'clock. I was cleaning my apartment at 11 o'clock yesterday morning. Check your understanding. Look at the picture, then complete the statement. He was cutting the grass yesterday afternoon. They were watching TV at 6 o'clock. I was cleaning my apartment at 11 o'clock yesterday morning. Watch and listen. Past continuous questions with what. Use what and the past continuous to ask about actions that were happening at a specific time in the past. The actions were not completed at that time. What was she doing at 12 o'clock? She was eating lunch. Past continuous questions with what. Form questions with what in this way. What plus was or were plus subject plus doing. What were they doing at 10 o'clock? They were playing golf. What was he doing yesterday afternoon? He was cutting the grass. What were they doing at 6 o'clock? They were watching TV. What were you doing at 11 o'clock? I was cleaning my apartment. Check your understanding. Look at the photo. Complete the question with the past continuous of do. Then complete the answer. What was he doing yesterday afternoon? He was cutting the grass. What were they doing at six o'clock? They were watching TV. What were you doing at eleven o'clock? I was cleaning my apartment. Watch and listen. Past continuous, yes, no questions. Use the past continuous to ask about actions that were happening at a specific time in the past. The actions were not completed at that time. Were you doing laundry at 4 o'clock? Yes, I was. Was Carmen exercising at 6 o'clock? No. She wasn't. Past continuous, yes, no questions. To make the past continuous of yes, no questions, use this order. Was or were plus the subject plus the base form of the verb plus ing. Were they sitting outside? Okay, we're going to stop. We're going to stop there and we're going to pick it up during our next lesson.
Ciao for now.